Uh, and the rule is that the image distance is positive for a real image. And the image distance is negative for a virtual image, which means we have to learn how to tell the difference between a real and a virtual image. I guess the first thing we should do is learn how to find the image location. So we would say the image the image is located where the outgoing light rays or their tracebacks converge. The image is located where the outgoing light rays or their traceback converge. And I'll show you a bunch of examples of that. Oftentimes, we draw an object as an arrow. So here's the arrow. It's also very helpful to draw uh, a center line, which we could call the axis, or the principal axis. So we pretty much always want to draw this principal axis through the center of the lens or the mirror. All right, and now we have to focus on where the incoming and the outgoing light is. Now, when we say incoming, we mean coming into the lens or mirror. When we, mean out, when we say outgoing, we mean going out from the lens or mirror. So where is the incoming light here, on the left or the right? It's on the left. Yeah, it's coming into the mirror from here. So here's the incoming light. Notice that the, light, the incoming light is coming away from the object. The light has hit the object, and now it's coming away from it. Uh, in fact, what this really would look like is first the light would come in towards the object and then bounce off and reflect this way. But we're not really interested in this part of its path. So when we're focusing on the light, we always focus on it after it's reflected from the object. Well, after the light is reflected from the object, it looks like this. Now, of course, this is going out from the object, but it's coming in towards the lens. And that's what we mean by the incoming light, coming in towards the lens or mirror. So clearly, this would be the outgoing light on the right-hand side. It's always a good idea to draw arrows to show which way the light is moving for both the incoming and the outgoing light. Here's another ray of light. I don't have a straight edge, so my pictures won't be perfectly to, to scale. But anyway, this shows the basic idea. Now, where is the image located here, when you're ready? Um, the image is located where the outgoing light rays converge. Well. Here's where the outgoing light rays converge. So we can draw another arrow. It takes a little practice to draw nice little arrows here. But we can draw another arrow like this. And this is what we would call the image. OK. Uh, so here we have our uh, image. So this is what I mean when I said the image is located where the outgoing light rays converge. So here is where uh, the image is. Um, now let's take a look at uh, another type of uh, image.
So here we have another um, object. And here again we have a couple of rays of outgoing light. Another object and another couple of rays of outgoing light. And we want to figure out where the image is. So we can go through that together. Now, remember the image is supposed to be located where the outgoing light rays converge. But if you look carefully, these rays are never going to converge. They're actually getting further from each other, not closer to each other. So what are we supposed to do here when the rays are getting further? Well, the image is located where the outgoing light rays or their tracebacks converge. Well, these outgoing light rays will never converge. So instead, we have to trace them back along the same line that they were already forming. And you can see that if we trace them back, their tracebacks will converge over here. OK, so that gives us our traceback. And now here's where the image is. So now we see more clearly what it means when we say the image is located where the outgoing light rays or their tracebacks converge. You draw the outgoing light rays. And if the outgoing light rays are getting closer to each other, then when they converge, that's the image. But if the outgoing light rays are getting further from each other, then you trace them back, and the traceback will converge. So this is the full definition of where the image is. Uh, this might be the one thing that isn't in that handout, actually, where the image is located. Did I put that in there? Uh, so let's see. We've got here. Ah, here we go. The image is located where the outgoing light rays or their tracebacks converge. Okay, um, now if the image is located where the outgoing light rays converge, we call that a real image. real image, but if it's their tracebacks that converge, we call that a virtual image. One thing you have to be careful of then when you're drawing uh, diagrams is a lot of the time when people draw a picture like this, they assume that these rays have to converge, and then they start kind of bending them as a cheat to make them converge over there. So the best thing to do is to actually have a little ruler with you and to actually draw them out. And if it doesn't seem like the outgoing light rays are going to converge, that's perfectly OK. Just make their tracebacks converge. So this term traceback is not like an official term. It's just a convenient thing for how you trace these rays back. OK. So don't force the outgoing light rays to converge if the lines are really getting further from each other. All right. Um, so is this a real or a virtual image? It's a real image. Because we use the outgoing light rays to form the image. And how about this one? because we have to use the tracebacks. Now, there's another important definition of real and virtual that we need to know. A real image is on the same side as the outgoing light. A real image is on the same side as the outgoing light. And a virtual image is when the image is on the opposite side. <coughs> to the outgoing light. A real image is on the same side as the outgoing light. A virtual image is on the opposite side to the outgoing light. So we can see how that works here. Which side is the outgoing light on, the left or the right? The right. And which side is the image on? The right. So they're on the same side, and that confirms this is a real image. Let's just take our time and confirm that here, too. Which side is the outgoing light on? The right. And which side is the image on? The left. All right. It actually helps to actually say in your mind the words right and left, because on a big problem, it's easy to get confused about that. Uh, all right. So that just confirms this is a virtual image. 
So this gives us another way to define real and virtual. So these are two different ways to define real and virtual, and they're both important to know about. Um, so uh, that tells us again this is uh, what this is. Now remember the whole reason we're going through all this rigmarole, or one of the main reasons, is to figure out whether the image distance should be positive or negative. We want to know if the image distance is positive or negative. Uh, well, uh, you tell me, uh, does the word real sound positive or negative? Positive. To me it sounds positive too, so fortunately the physicists have chosen that to be the positive image distance. And to me, the word virtual sounds a little bit negative. So they've chosen that to be the negative image distance as a convenient uh, convention. So, oh, I already had this written down, didn't I? A positive eye is a real image, and a negative eye is a virtual image. OK, so again, we should never write down an image distance in this formula without putting a sign on it so that we're always thinking about uh, that convention. 